people are getting bitten while asleep. You flush the eyes thoroughly with water and uh, go, and see a, go and see a medical doctor. We're in the middle of the snake bite season and uh, we're seeing a lot of snake bites at the moment. And one of the biggest problems is the Mozambique spitting cobra. So for most snakes, if you come across a snake and you move away four or five paces, you're perfectly safe. But these snakes have the bad habit of ending up in people's houses. They enter through open sliding doors, they enter through gaps under doors, and a lot of people are getting bitten while asleep. It's not a matter of the snake looking for heat or um, people accidentally rolling over onto them. Uh, we see a lot of these bites. We have a lot of good data and it appears that they are mistaking people for a meal. They're smelling a mammal in a bed and they are biting people. And we're seeing bites in the face, on the chest, arms, on the hands. Uh, and these bites are devastating because their venom is potently cytotoxic, causes a lot of pain and swelling. And in many of these bites, there is severe tissue damage afterwards. It is very important for you to make sure that your house is secure. Put uh, mosquito doors on, make sure you don't have gaps under the doors. And if you are uh, active at night around the house, use a torch, see where you're going. In the event of a bite from a Mozambique spitting cobra, it's very important that the person must get to the nearest hospital as soon as possible. And we always choose a hospital that has an emergency room where they can tend to you immediately. If antivenom is necessary, and all snake bite victims don't get antivenom, but if it's necessary, the sooner you get the antivenom, the better. And uh, what we find with these Mozambique spitting cobra bites is you need a lot of antivenom. You probably need 10 to 12 vials of, uh, of polyvalent antivenom to start off with. So what the doctors do is they uh, hospitalize the patients, they monitor them very carefully, and uh, then over the next week or so, uh, they'll have a better idea whether there's going to be tissue damage and the extent of such tissue damage. And uh, in a fair number of these cases, uh, surgery might be necessary a week or two later, and uh, quite often they have to do skin grafts as well. They obviously also spit their venom. They spit the same venom that they use if they bite you. And uh, for venom in the eyes, you flush the eyes thoroughly with water and uh, go, and see a, go and see a medical doctor. Let them check your eyes for corneal damage and let them treat it with an antibiotic cream or antibiotic drops. So we don't see a lot of fatal bites from these snakes because their venom is slow acting, but we do see a lot of very serious tissue damage. So these are really bad, bad bites and one should do everything you can to avoid a bite from a Mozambique spitting cobra.